Financial ratios are the key to understand how a company performs. The share price of a company will also be affected based on the company's performance. We will be discussing today about five valuable financial ratios that every investor should know of. You may have probably heard about some of them, but let's see what these ratios really means. Before we dive into the ratios, check out our videos about investing to understand what fundamental analysis is and how ratios are used in them. In short, fundamental analysis is a method to value stock based on its business prospects. If you are new to investing world, check out our other videos about stocks to get the basic understanding. Now let's get started. The first and most important ratio is EPS. What is EPS? EPS is the short form of earnings per share. Let's explain it through an example. Imagine a company, ABC, has a total of 1,000 shares and they have made a profit of $50,000 this year. What is the EPS of ABC? It's 50,000 in profits and net income divided by 1,000 shares. So, it's $50 per share. Easy, isn't it? In much simpler terms, EPS is a portion of profit that belongs to one share. Now let's go to the second one. P.E. Ratio What is P.E. Ratio? P.E. Ratio is the short form for price to earnings ratio. Let's understand this through an example. Imagine that ABC's share is selling at $500. From the previous section, we know that the EPS of ABC is $50. P.E. ratio is just the price, which is $500, divided by the EPS, which is $50. So the P.E. ratio of ABC is 10. What does this really mean? It just means that you are paying $10 to get back $1 yearly from the company. In other words, if you invest $10 in ABC, you will get back all your money from earnings after 10 years. Investors usually consider a stock with P.E. ratio of 10 to 15 as fairly priced. A stock with low P.E. ratio is considered as cheap. But also remember that a low P.E. doesn't mean that you should buy it. Do your research on other factors before making any investment decisions. Our third ratio will be debt to equity ratio. Debt is an important factor to consider while investing in a company. A high debt company will often be in trouble during hard times and may file bankruptcy. Debt to equity ratio gives us an idea of the company's debt compared to the total value of its stock. Let's explain this through an example. ABC has a total debt of $1 million total value of its stock will be 1,000, multiplied by $500, which is equal to $500,000. So debt to equity ratio will be $1 million divided by $500,000, which is equal to 2. In other words, company has leveraged twice the amount of money that it has on stocks. Now let's look at the fourth ratio, ROE. ROE is the short form for return on equity. ROE is extremely useful while analyzing companies. It shows the return we get from profits in terms of percentage. Let's explain this for the case of ABC. We know that ABC has a net income of $50,000 and a total of 1,000 shares. ROE can be calculated by dividing net income, 50,000, by total number of shares, 1,000, times 100%. Here the ROE would be 5,000%. Now, 5,000% ROE is very unrealistic. We just took the numbers as an example. A higher ROE means the company is performing well. Usually, investors will aim for ROE greater than 15%. Finally, let's look at our last ratio. Price to book value. Before going further into the ratio, we need to understand what a book value is. A book value is the value of a company according to the book's balance sheet. What does this mean? 
Well, it is the net worth of a company. It is the difference between assets and liabilities of a company. Let's try to understand this through an example. Company ABC has $2 million in assets. Assets can be property, cash etc. From our debt to equity ratio example, we know that ABC has $1 million in debt or liability. So the book value of ABC will be assets, $2 million minus the liability, $1 million, which is equal to $1 million. Great. Now you know what a book value is. ABC company has 1,000 shares. So book value per share will be $1 million divided by 1,000, which equals to $1,000. Now let's go to price to book value. To get the price to book value, you simply divide the price, which is $500 by book value per share, which is $1,000. It will be equal to 0 0.5. In other words, ABC is selling at half the price of its net worth. That's the five financial ratios you need to know as an investor. We would recommend to watch this video again so that you can get a solid foundation on it. If you liked this video, do subscribe to our channel to get more updates. And share it with a friend who you think would require this. Also check out our other videos to get the right education on investments.